I strongly suggest that you book Minerva simultaneously with the uh, light sheet because it's very useful to get a sense of how the imaging is working so that you can make adjustments when you're doing so. Now, under current conditions, you can't actually physically go into the room with the workstation, but you can log into it remotely. There are extensive instructions for how to do that on our website. And in the particular room which contains the light sheet, we have a second computer behind a black curtain, which you can use to log in remotely uh, to the Minerva workstation and work up your data there. Um, that said, if you want, uh, if you um, kind of don't have the ability to do that because the workstation is booked, or you just want a quick and dirty check of how things look, there are a few ways of doing that. This computer, so the computer I'm on right now, which is the acquisition computer, has a Maris viewer and file converter. So we can quickly convert uh, these files to a Maris uh, and take a quick look at them to see what the kind of quality they have. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll point out a few things that you may want to look at before adjusting your sample. So let me open Imaris File Converter. I'm going to drag this in here, and I'm going to tell it to place the resulting data uh, in Imaris format in the same folder. So I'm going to say Start All. Uh, this data set isn't too big, so I think this computer will be able to handle it. Um, yeah, it's only six gigabytes. Uh, other data sets can be, you know, more than 100 gigabytes, but this one, I think the computer will manage it just fine. So Amaris File Converter just uh, concluded its conversion of the file into the Amaris format, and now you can double-click on this, and it will open in Amaris Viewer. So the most useful view in Amaris Viewer is the section mode. I have an entire video about how to use this, so you can go there. Um, I, I explain how to use everything. Once you've seen that video, um, you'll be in a position where you can understand, uh, you know, the kind of adjustments I'm making now. But the, the thing that you need to look at when you're imaging, just to make sure everything's okay, is this view right here, the XZ view. So what you want is to make sure that the quality that you're getting is nice and even across the X dimension in the, in the Z. So you can see here... Um, the quality is pretty good throughout. There's not a lot of smearing in Z. Um, and that's because we used two light sheets and they each had sort of a, a low NA, so it was very even. If we had just used one light sheet in the middle with a very low NA, the middle would look great, but the sides, uh, as you moved away from the middle, the quality in the Z dimension, which is this one, would look quite poor. So this this software, uh, the fact that it's on this computer, can 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 function as a very sort of useful way of checking the quality of the data when you're imaging. And then you can make adjustments. So for example, if you just image with from the right side, uh, and you see that the far side looks quite poor, then you might want to use two light sheets. If you had just imaged from one side and with a low sheet in A, and then you see all this smearing, you might want to lower the sheet in A instead of using a really high one, um, and so on and so forth. So it's a very kind of useful way of, um, of just checking your data before making decisions about what and how uh, to image next. So another thing that you can do to look at these data sets is use Fiji. So I will open that. So within Fiji, there is the option uh, to look at light sheet data sets in a way that doesn't consume a lot of RAM. And in fact, you could use this same thing that I'm going to show you now to look at images on something like a laptop because it only loads one image at a time into RAM. So let me show you how to do that. So if I go to File, if I go to Import Image Sequence, if I nav navigate to this folder, and select the first file, I can open the sequence of 575 images. I want to sort them numerically. If I click on Use Virtual Stack, it won't go to the memory. So um, you know, for a laptop, this would work. Um, I'll just show you how that works. And so now we have a Z stack where we can also explore. Now, we don't have those side views, and there are ways of, of doing those things that I won't go into now. Uh, but if you just want, again, just a very quick check of how things look, this is a useful way of doing it.